Hello students, I welcome all of you to this beautiful session. Today I am here to teach you second language English for class 10 and today I am dealing with the topic Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. So in this beautiful session, let us begin with a quiz. In this quiz, you are going to identify the person. Let us have a picture. You have to identify the name of the person and I will give you four options for this and the options are like this. Option A, APJ Abdul Kalam. Option B, K R Narayan. Option C, Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Option D, R Venkataraman. Have you guessed the right answer children? Okay. If you guessed the right answer, we shall look into the right answer now. The right answer is Dr. Rajendra Prasad. You know children, Dr. Rajendra Prasad was the first president of India. He was an independence activist and he was the first president to serve for two terms in the office. Good. Now we shall go to the second picture children. I think you feel it very easy to tell the name of the person. Let us have options now. Option A, K R Narayan. Option B, Zakir Hussain. Option C, A P J Abdul Kalam. And option D, Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan. Shall we look into the answer children? The answer is Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan. Your answer is absolutely right. You know children, Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan was the second president of India. He was a prominent philosopher, writer and vice chancellor. His birth date is celebrated as teacher's day in our country on every September 5th. Here is the next picture for your children. And options are like this. Option A, Pratibha Patil. B, Vivi Giri. C, Ramaswami Venkata Raman. D, Prana Mukherjee. The right answer is, shall we look? A, Pratibha Patil. You know children, Pratibha Patil, Srimati Pratibha Patil served as the 12th president of our country. She was the first woman president of India and also she served as the governor of Rajasthan. Good. We shall go to the next slide children now. Here I am giving you first only the options because you are all very brilliant and uh, with the options you have to read all the name of the persons because I want you to know where our quiz questions are running around. Okay? So, shall we read the options now? Option A, Gyani Zail Singh. Option B, Shankar Dayal Sharma. Option C, V. V. Giri. Option D, A. P. J. Abdul Kalam. Okay. Have you guessed it children? Where our quiz questions are running around? Yes, you are right. Our quiz questions are running around. President's names. Here is the photo. Yes, you won't take a second also to identify the person. Yes, the right answer is, you are absolutely right. The right answer is APJ Abdul Kala. Yes, you know children, he was not only a president, he was also a scientist, writer and a motivator. As a scientist, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam played a vital role in the development of the ballistic missile and nuclear weapon program and he was popularly known as missile man of India and people's president. Okay. He served as the 11th president of our country. Now we shall go to the next slide. Here are the options. The options are like this. Option A, V. V. Giri. Option B, Zakir Hussain. Option C, Ramaswami Venkata Raman. And option D, Ramnath Kovin. And here is the picture. Children, if you want clue, I will give you one clue now. He served as the third president of our country. Okay. Can you have a guess now? Okay. Now, we shall see the right answer. The right answer is Zakir Hussain. He was the third president of our country. Now, we are moving to the next slide. Here is the picture. The person in the picture served as the 8th president of our country. 
Before he becoming the president, he also served as the Minister of Industry, Minister of Finance and also Minister of Defence. And the options are like this, Shankar Dayal Sharma, Ramaswamy Venkataraman, Ramnath Kovin and K. R. Narayan. Shall we look into the right answer? The right answer is Ramaswamy Venkataraman. He was the eighth president of our country. Children, now we shall have a look at all our elected 14 presidents of our country. The first president of India, Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Second president, Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan. Third president, Zakir Hussain. Fourth president, V. V. Giri. Fifth president, Fakhruddin Ali Ahmad. Sixth president, Neelam Sanjeeva Reddy. He was the chief minister of Andhra Pradesh also. And seventh president, Gyani Zail Singh. Eighth president, R. Venkataraman. 9th President Shankar Dayal Sharma, 10th President K. R. Narayan and 11th President of India A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, 12th President Srimati Pratibha Patil, 13th President Pranav Mukherjee and now the present Honorable President Ramnath Kovind. Okay, children, I think now you brush up your knowledge regarding all our 14 elected presidents. Now, we shall move to the lesson, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. This lesson is an extract from the message which Sri R. Venkataraman, former president of India, wrote to the book, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, The Man and His Message, a commemorative volume edited by Sri Sudarshan Agarwal. As an author, let us have short introduction with Ramaswamy Venkataraman. Ramaswamy Venkataraman was a lawyer, independence activist and politician who served as a union minister of our country and he was the 8th president of India. He was born in 1910, Tanjavur district of Tamil Nadu. He was also a member of the Constituent Assembly responsible for India's constitution. In 1987, he became the President of India. He received several honours including Tamrapatra. For participating in the freedom movement, he died on January 27, 2009 in Delhi. Now let us enrich our vocabulary with new words. Here is the first word for you children. The word is insatiable, which means that cannot be satisfied. Andre trupti agade irodu anu arthadali navidina kantevi. The usage will be like this Gayatri had an insatiable desire for knowledge. That means Gayatri wants to read more and more books. Is it good or bad children? Yes. We should have insatiable desire for knowledge. It is always good. We can become the champion in all subjects. Okay. Now, we shall go to the next word, voracious. The meaning of the word voracious is very eager for knowledge. That means, Kanardal helbe kundre gnana daha anta helti valva. Ritwik is a voracious reader of historical novels. That means, Ritwik wants to read more and more books regarding historical novels. He was very much passionate for reading books. The next word is here for you, curtailing, which means to reduce or to limit. Andre, kadita godskolodu, miti godskolodu, anta helbodu. Anushka had to curtail her speech when time ran out. Here is the next word, children. Upliftment, which means improvement of community. Mahatma Pule strived for the upliftment of the depressed classes. Andre Mahatma Pule Uru Hindu Dida Vargagala Undu Abiruddhi Gagi Shamsudru Anuritinali Navidana Bals Bahudu. Amelioration, which means improvement or the act of making something better. The usage of the sentence will be like this. Regular exercises 
can provide gradual amelioration of anxiety. The next word is authentic voices which means genuine or authorized voice. Nelson Mandela became an authentic voice for civil rights movements around the world. Andre civil rights goes kara auru adara dhani adru anna roopa dali navi dhanna helta idhivi. So authentic voice andre avundu particular vishye ke nao dhani ago du adara parwagi nillo du anna vartha navi li kaanthewe. Indefatigable which means never give up. Never give up and thedre guri muttu va tanaka nilade ero du athava shataya gataya prayatna pado du anna navi li helta idhivi. For many years, Annie has been an indefatigable campaigner for human rights. Next word is flair. Flair means aptitude or talent or gift. He has a flair for languages. He had a flair for drawing. So, yaude ondu vishe dalini nau on tumba jana ida idane aur tumba jana idale an theli valva. So, yau vishe dalini nau. तुम्बा एक्सपर्ट आगे रहती हैं, सो अदन हेड बेक आते हैं ना वो फ्लेयर अंतर हेड थी। एविडेंट, विच मींस इजीली सीन और अंडरस्टूड, अंदर नोटी दंगे अर्थात मार्क कोड़ो दो अंता। रेबेकास करेज ड्यूरिंग हर इलनेस वाज एविडेंट टू एवरीवन, एल्डरगु कांटा इत्तो, अवले वंदु देरी एल्डरगु ूल and now let us have a look at a short profile of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Bhimrao Ramji Ambedkar was born on 14th April 1891 in Maho, town of Madhya Pradesh, India. He was the son of Ramji Maloji Sakpal and Bhima Bai. His father served in the Indian Army at the Maho cantonment. He became one of the first Dalit to obtain a college education in India, eventually earning a law degree and doctorates for his study and research in law, economics and political science. Bhimrao Ramji Ambedkar is popularly known as Baba Saheb. He was an Indian jurist, political leader, philosopher, anthropologist, historian, orator, economist, teacher, editor, prolific writer, revolutionary and a revivalist for Buddhism in India. He started political parties such as Scheduled Caste Federation, Independent Labour Party and Republican Party of India. He became the first law minister of India. He became the chairman of the Constitution Drafting Committee. He is best known as the principal architect of the Indian Constitution and a champion of Dalit rights. For his contributions, he was awarded with Bodhisattva Award in 1956. He was posthumously awarded with one of the prestigious awards in our country, that is Bharat Ratna, in 1990. And he was awarded with First Columbian of Their Times in 2004 and the Greatest Indian Award in 2012. He died on 6th December 1956 at his home in Delhi. Children, now we shall learn some interesting facts about Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. All of you look at your textbook and also listen to my words. You know children, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was a voracious reader. He had an insatiable thirst for books. He bought books by curtailing his daily needs. What do you understand by this? He was a voracious reader. He wants to, he loves to read more and more books. He was very much uh, passionate towards reading books. He had an insatiable thirst for books and he bought books by curtailing his daily needs. Andre, our dhininithyada ondu avashyakathigalana avaru kadme kuduskondu avar adrali books anna purchase maadta idru anta. And 
Here are the two examples or two instances that proves that he was a voracious reader. In New York, he was said to have purchased about 2000 old books. Can you imagine children? 2000 old, old books he has purchased. And at the time of second round table conference in London, he bought so many books that they had to be sent to India in 32 boxes. Really, he was uh, uh, crazy about uh, reading books. I think this passion of reading books only took him so, to such a prestigious pos uh, position in the society and uh, he had become a visionary in the society. Now, we shall have a look at uh, two uh, influencing factors in the life of uh, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar children. So, which are the two factors that made him uh, a visionary in the society? The factors, the first factor is like that. When he was in the USA, he was drawn to the 14th amendment of the constitution of the USA, which gave freedom to the black Americans. And he saw at once the parallel of the situation for the depressed classes in India. Andre our America the Lidaga, Kapu Jananga the Mela Aktai Dantaha, Dorjanyavana Tadilike Vandu, Samidani Kawagi Vandu Tidupadina Tagon Bartare, that is a 14th Amendment. So, in the Urgis Watantra Sigate, Kapu Jananga, they got freedom for black people. Like that, Adi situation and Nam India the Lukuda Uru Kantare, that is depressed classes, Hindu the Varga the Mela Aktai Dantaha, Dorjanya. So, this is the case of the Pariharam and the Madbeku. The second influencing factor was that on his return to India, he was greatly influenced by the life and works of Mahatma Pule, the votary of classless society and women's upliftment. It impressed Baba Sahib's mind and he decided to devote all his time and talents for the amelioration which means the improvement of his underprivileged brethren. And you should note one more point here children, during the same period Gandhiji also worked for the upliftment of the depressed classes whom Gandhiji had termed as Harijanas whereas Dr. B. R. Ambedkar termed them as Dalits. Both of them worked for the same cause, but Gandhiji termed as Harijanas and Dr. B. R. Ambedkar termed as Dalits. And to make his dream come true and create awareness among the depressed classes, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar started newspapers such as Mukhanayak, Bahishkad Bharat and Samata, which became the authentic voices of the depressed classes. And not only the newspapers, children, he started or he set up institutions such as Hitakarini Sabha, Independent Labour Party of India, which became the vehicle of change. During which Baba Saheb Ambedkar was elected to the Bombay Legislative Assembly in the elections under the Constitution of India Act 1935. Baba Saheb made effective contributions to the debates in the assembly on a variety of subjects. His flair for legislative work became evident to the whole nation. Andre Auru Mardantaha Bashnagalali. So Auravandu Yenu talent to Abiruchitu, Samidanika Vishagali Saman Patante, Kanunika Saman Patanta Vishagali, Yenu Aurali on the Abiruchi Asaktitu, Adu Idi Deshake, Adu Gutaitu, Isanda Badali. Soon, the Constituent Assembly of India offered Dr. B. R. Ambedkar the opportunity to give the most notable and permanent shape to his social philosophy and to his undying faith in the dignity of human beings. Observing his capabilities and skills in the field of law and legislations, the Indian National Congress requested Dr. B. R. Ambedkar to serve on the drafting committee of the Constituent Assembly and made him its chairman. And there were other luminaries also in the committee like uh, Aladi Krishna Swami Iyer, K. M. Munshi and N. Gopalaswami Iyengar, who played a major role to the process of constitution making. 
In this vital process, Ambedkar was remembered and considered as the pilot of the various provisions of the Indian constitution. You know children, as a orator, anthropologist and a jurist, the important work devolved on Ambedkar was to explain with a combination of tact and frankness and at most patience the meaning and scope of the different provisions of the drafting constitution. You know children why this uh, uh, major responsibility devolved on Dr. B. R. Ambedkar because he had the rare gift of unraveling the most complicated legal concepts in a language which the layman understood. Andre, Kananige Samantha Patantha Kelavandu Shabdagalu, Adu, Sri Samani Rigu Kuda Harta Goritinali explained Madwantaha on the Samartia, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Avage Itu. Hagagi, even the Mahatara Vadanta Jab Dariana Avage Kodlaitu. In this process, Dr. Ambedkar was aided by the indefatigable constitutional advisor B. N. Ra. Okay, children. Now, let us recapitulate with what we have learned so far. Here is a first question for you children. How do you say that Ambedkar was a voracious reader? To prove that he was a voracious reader, you have to give two instances that given in the textbook. Your answer will be like this. Ambedkar had an insatiable thirst for books. Second point, he bought books by curtailing his daily needs. The two instances are like this. In New York, he bought 2000 books. At the time of the round table conference in London, he bought so many books that they had to be sent to India in 32 boxes. And here is a second question. Which were the newspapers started by Ambedkar? Okay, the answer is like this. The newspapers started by Ambedkar were Mukhanayak, Bahishkut Bharat and Samata. Here is a third question children, who was the great person who influenced Ambedkar for the reformation of the society in India? The person who influenced Ambedkar for the reformation of the society in India was Mahatma Pule. Okay children, here is the fourth question for you, how did the 14th amendment to the US constitution influenced Ambedkar? Your answer should be like this. While Ambedkar was in the USA, he was drawn to the 14th amendment of the constitution of the USA which gave freedom to the black Americans. He saw at once the parallel of the situation for the depressed classes in India. Okay, children. You know, children, Ambedkar was a multi-talented personality. He was a jurist. He was an anthropologist. He was a writer. He was a philosopher and many more things. He had great ideologies towards the society. So, let us brush up our knowledge with the famous quotes of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Here is the first quote. I like the religion that teaches liberty, equality and fraternity. And the second quote. Life should be great rather than long. And the third quote is like this. Religion and slavery are incompatible. A great man is different from an eminent one in that he is ready to be the servant of the society. I measure the progress of a community by the degree of progress which women had achieved. Let us move to the next segment that is practice writing. You know children, writing plays the major role in our life like all other skills. So, whatever you learn in the school that you should correlate with your daily life or it will be wasted. Now, let us take an example of uh, writing or filling the applications. Which are the situations that come across in your life for filling the applications? Let us have a look into that. 
Now, as a student, you need to get admission for a school. Then, when you go to school for your admission, you need to fill the application form. And also, when you complete your 10th standard education, you need to get admission for a college. There, if you want to join for a college, there also you should fill the application form. As soon as you finish your education, so if you want to search for a job, then you need to prepare your bio data. Then also you should fill the form. And when you visit a bank or a post office, there if you want to open a, an SBI account or uh, if you want to deposit your am amount in the bank or if you want to fill the uh, FD form or RD form like this many more situations will come across in your life and also when you want to reserve a ticket in the railway station or a uh, bus station there also you should fill the application forms. So, this, these are the situations then which are the important points that we should keep in our mind to fill the application form ok let us listen to it now. While writing any application forms, we need to keep some important points in our mind. They are, we should carefully read the instruction given in that application. Particular of the student or the candidate should be filled with capital letters. Each and every detail should be filled correctly without mistake. If you are not filling any column, you should scratch or draw a line. If any attachments needed, for example, Aadhaar card, mask card, date of birth certificate, you should take the Xerox of it and attach it. If you find place for photo, you should paste it in the particular place. Lastly, you should not forget to put your signature with the date. These are all the important points you need to learn while filling any application. Ok children, now we are moving to the next segment that is home assignment. Here is a home assignment and very easy assignment I, I am giving you. So, in the page number 78, it is already given. Imagine you are booking a railway ticket to visit Delhi. Give your personal details in the reservation requisition form that furnished in your textbook. You just uh, have a look at the page number 78 children. There is a form. You get the Xerox of it, fill it thoroughly and submit it to your teacher. Okay. And also students, when you have a look at your textbook, you will have a QR code. What is this QR code? If you scan the QR code, you, you can watch this lesson again there. And also you can have access to all the learning materials regarding this lesson. Okay. Make use of it. Now the last segment that is message. See already I told you children whatever you learn in the lesson you have to connect it with your daily life. So, in this lesson definitely you must have some message. What is the message you got from this lesson? We should also develop thirst for knowledge just like Dr. B. R. Ambedkar we should become voracious reader. We should read more and more books and we should become champions in all our subjects and we should cultivate the habit of reading books not only our textbook, the autobiographies of great personalities. This is the message what I want to give you in this episode. Thank you very much children. Have a nice day.